Hi everyone. This is a tutorial on how to use this little clasp called the Infinity Clasp, but it's also a rare opportunity for you to see me trying out a scarf for the first time. This is a jersey tickle that has, you can't really see so well on the video, but it has really gorgeous sparkles in it, just like the Celestial scarf that we sell. Um, they don't come off. They're beautiful. That's like exclusively made for Rapunzel. Um, they're amazing, 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 but with the same um, jersey feel that you all love from the t-shirt tickles. So anyway, I'm trying this for the first time. I'm wearing pink. It's a day of all new things, so I'm very excited. But this is a tutorial on how to use the infinity clasp. Basically, to use the clasp, you need to have at one side of your head some sort of something like this. Basically, um, a flat... I mean, I guess you could do a twist or a braid, but the easiest way is to have some sort of flat um, area about this long um, on the side of your head. And that can be done with the beginner's luck tickle. Like, almost all the tickle styles that we have have something going on at the side of the head. Um, perhaps some turbans might not work so well with this. I haven't really experimented with it. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to use it in a basic regal wrap. Doing the regal wrap. So right now I have that little pocket here, but I'm also going to bring this up as well to make a larger pocket. Ugh, I love how this wraps. I'm trying it for the first time. I knew it was going to be amazing, but this is just a little beyond excitement right here. Okay. So now I have this infinity clasp basically it comes in two parts, the really gorgeous infinity sign part and this pin which slides in through these hoops and basically hooks on to the side of your scarf like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the infinity clasp and have it kind of hug around the two pockets, the, sorry, the little pocket that you make. So first you want to use your finger and kind of poke it into that layer from the back of your head right here, stick your finger in depending on how tightly you wrap you might have to warm your way a bit to get out but you will make it okay see how my fingers coming out here so then you want to put the clasp on and then the slider thing has one side that's a little heart and one side that's just blank so you want to put the side that's blank through right where your finger is and basically you're going to be following along your finger now bring it all the way through and once it's through at the back, you're going to slide it through this little hoop here. So basically you've slid it through the hoop at the front, and then you're going to slide it through this hoop at the back. And there you go. Now you can adjust it and place it where you like. It can go high or low. And there you have it. You might want to, and you want to, you know, our, um, one of our managers, Edita, always looked at me and was like, Andrea, make sure the heart is facing the front. So, okay, this is for you, Edita. And there you have it. That is how you do it. And you can do this on, I mean, I'm assuming, I haven't tried it yet, but if you have a double braid, you can do it quite easily. If you have a beginner's luck going around here, you can also do it beautifully. And it just, what I didn't show actually in the video is that the infinity part is kind of curved like this. It's curved like this. So then the um, slidey thing, I haven't come up with a technical term, just goes through it like so. Um, which makes it really easy to do. As you saw, it really did not take me any time. So there you have it. That is how you use the Infinity Clasp. And I can't wait to see you ladies wearing this because it's just absolutely so beautiful. As you can see with the sari scarf picture that we have, it can get really, really intricate depending on what you have on your head. Okay, call to all my love. Bye, everyone.